The following video will contain some very delicious food, so you may not want to watch an empty stomach. Hi everyone, Scott or the Scott Man, and we're here to do a Trail of the Lights video today. We are here in West Bloomfield, Michigan, one of the northwestern suburbs of Detroit, to do a Trail of the Lights video. We're in front of Sura Korean Restaurant. I had Korean food for the very first time in Atlanta when I did my ethnic food tour er earlier this year, and I had some bulgogi, and it was absolutely delicious. So I'm here in West Bloomfield to check out Sura to try some delicious Korean food. I want to I want to get some bulgogi because that was really good that I had. And this restaurant has been around for very long. I think it opened either earlier this year or maybe last year. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a fairly new restaurant, but it has a lot of great reviews and it's, it was even mentioned in the Detroit Free Press. I think earlier this year, so I'm really excited right now to have a Korean restaurant with that's highly rated here in Metro Detroit. So we're going to go inside and we'll check it out. But yeah, the restaurant's located... Let me get on this side of the camera. It's located at the corner of Maple Road and Orchard Lake Road. An area full of many restaurants, supermarkets, department stores, etc. So we're going to head inside and enjoy some delicious Korean food. Huge dining area, so or the bulgogi, it's Korean beef barbecue. Again, I had it in Atlanta, it was absolutely delicious, so I'm really excited to try the version here. Well, we can get some different side dishes, which I did not see this in Atlanta. So we got some different oh, <laughs> part of my arm. Got some rice and also some pickled vegetables too. Got some sticky rice. Right, we're gonna try. We're, we're gonna try each one. sprouts but yeah, these are really good really like the, the taste with it mm -hmm. try a little bit of this mm. Very, very sweet. Really like it. Alright. Not sure what this is. It might, might be zucchini or something, but it has some spicy. Let's have some spices on this one. Ooh, a little bit of a kick, but not bad. Alright, so. This one is a popular side dish, or a Korean side dish. This is kimchi. This is pickled cabbage. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Mm, pretty good. Very spicy, but I like it. Oh, these are awesome side dishes, I have to say. The kimchi has that perfect spice, though. I really, really like it. Be able to learn about ways of eating different Korean foods, uh, thanks to my good friend Chris. Or his channel is called Yellow Productions. He made a trip over to uh, South Korea earlier this year. 
So uh, let's just say I, had, you know, I was hearing the words kimchi all over the place. So I'm excited. I'm glad I was finally able to try it. Now I need to try it over in Korea. Mm. A little bit of rice of this. Oh, man, this is fantastic. Ooh, here it is, the bulgogi, and that's a lot of food. It smells so good, though. Just gotta love the smell of cooked beef. Some different onions in it, and we can even use some of the rice to eat with it, too. We're gonna try some just by itself. Ooh, it has a nice juicy flavor to it. Oh, this is fantastic. I almost have to try a little bit with the rice too. So we'll do that next. There we go. This piece cooked perfectly. Sorry. <laughs> cooked perfectly. I like the grilled onions with this. It was really amazing. Alright, really quick, a little bit of kimchi to this. Come on. Add to the, a little bit to the beef. How about you, but kimchi and bulgogi is a perfect combination. It tastes so well together. It got the warmness of the bulgogi and the and the pickled cabbage and the spices of the kimchi, nice and cold. It mixes perfectly well together. Yeah, one tip I've learned too is uh, to, uh, if you put the rice into the into the the beef, it's supposed to bring some of the juices up, and so uh, I did just that. Try to mix it. Mm. You're right. Even more flavorful after you put the rice in. It tastes even better. But yeah. Really, really enjoy the food here. This is one restaurant you must check out while you're in West Bloomfield or even in like the northwestern part of Metro Detroit. Korean food here is excellent. I eat the rest of this off camera or as much as I can because <laughs> this is a lot of food. And I'll see you back outside. Oh, that was delicious. So yeah, it's even better when you put the rice in, in, in with the with the dish itself. But yeah, they're absolutely right. Yeah, it tastes, brought all the juices up. Oh, it's even better. It's like, that was amazing. That filled me up too. And it is on the pricier side, but you get so much food and you, they even ask you if you even want more of the side dishes too. But yeah, I definitely did not have the room, but. But yeah, one thing I liked about about Sura compared to the place or Quan's Deli that I went to in Atlanta is that you get a bunch of bulgogi, but you also get all those different Korean side dishes, including the kimchi. That was one of the things I was most excited to try. Again, after watching uh, Yellow Productions uh, Korea, Korea videos, where he, Chris was eating all sorts of kimchi in that, so I was like, I gotta try it now. I'm so glad I did because it was pretty good. A little spicy, but it's a spice I can tolerate. But yeah, the service was amazing in there. Very friendly people in there. 
and they mostly specialize in Korean food, but they also do have some Chinese and some Japanese food in there as well. So you're not limited, or you're not limited to Korean food in there, but you gotta try the Korean food. Korean food is absolutely amazing. Not, now I need to travel to Korea to, to try the food in Korea, but I'll, I'll leave that for another day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Travel the Lights video here at Surat Korean Cuisine here in West Bloomfield, Michigan. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to click that subscribe button to come, on, to come along and join me for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Uh, thank you for watching and this is Scott or the Scott Man signing out.